Welcome to Adobe Illustrator CC 2021 Class Book Chapter 12 Using Brushes to Create an Ad. This is Part 3. So we just finished up. We created our triangle with some geometric patterns. Now we're going to go ahead and create some pattern brushes. So let's go ahead and with our selection tool, let's jump over to our second artboard and let's select this decorative element here at the top. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now let's go ahead and go to our panel menu on the brushes. And we want to choose thumbnail view. Now let's go ahead to our new brushes pattern. We want to create a pattern brush and say OK. Now it's making a pattern based on that shape that we just selected. We're going to go ahead and call that pattern decoration. Now you'll see there's different tiles here, different ways to approach this. So let's go ahead and on the second box, the side tile, you can see we've got a few different options depending on what is available. Let's go to outer corner. And you can see there's different ways to make that outer corner uh, go together. And for this one, let's go ahead and choose the, what do we like? Auto between. And then let's go ahead and push OK. And do a select, deselect. And turn that one off. So now we're going to go ahead and apply that pattern brush. Let's jump back over to our artboard number one. Grab our selection tool and go ahead and grab this circle. Let's zoom in just a little bit. With the path selected, let's grab that decoration brush to apply it. Now, because we don't have any corners, we don't have to worry about that part. We're happy with that. Let's go ahead and deselect. Now we're going to go ahead and edit that pattern just a little bit. So let's go back over to our artboard and select our little decoration bit again. Let's go ahead and change that color instead of being black. Let's go ahead and change it to kind of the light green. It's right here. We like the light green and escape to hide those colors. Now we're going to just go ahead and click the swatches panel in the under brushes. So we go here to swatches. And we want to drag that decoration onto the artwork. So let's go ahead and drag this decoration onto that swatches. And now we have a swatch that is this pattern, which is kind of fun. So let's go ahead and deselect. Let's go back over to artboard number one. So now we want to go ahead to click back to our brushes panel. And let's double click the decoration. From there, let's go ahead and on the side tile option right here, let's go ahead and choose that new green color instead. And let's scale it to about 50% so it's not quite as big. Kind of see what's going on. And let's say OK. It's going to say, do we want to apply it to strokes? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and apply it to what we've already created. So now with the selection tool, let's go ahead and grab that geometric shape. Zoom in just a little bit, Control Plus. And let's try that decoration brush again. Now notice that we have, it's done some funky things to our edges here. For this case, we decided we don't like it, so we're going to go ahead and put it back on that geometric. Deselect and a Control S to save. Next, we're going to try using some bristle brushes. So let's go into our brushes. Let's turn on bristle. Let's go back in and turn off pattern. From here, we're going to go ahead and uh, change a few of these brushes. So let's go make sure we've got our list view. And where it says mop, we're going to go ahead and double click that. And we're going to call it round fan. Oh, we're going to just change it. We're going to change it to 
escape. Let's double click mop. All right, we're going to leave it as mop. We're going to change it to round fan. We're going to change it to 10 millimeters instead of six. A brush, uh, bristle length is going to stay at 150. Density is going to stay at 33%. Thickness, we're going to take down to 70. Paint opacity is 75. Stiffness is 50. And say OK. So now what we're going to do is paint with that bristle brush a little bit. So let's go view, fit artboard and window. And we're going to go ahead and paint a little bit with it. So let's grab our paintbrush tool. Make sure our fill is set to none. Let's set our stroke color to one of the green colors. Maybe let's use the same light green. Let's change that weight up to about five points. And now we're just going to go ahead, if we look at the final, we're just going to add a few bits of texture to our add here. So I'm going to add some down through here maybe through here, and maybe through the corner. All right. Now I want to go ahead and group those bristle brushes. I don't love the way that looks. So let's go ahead and hit Control and grab that path again. And like we did before, let's go ahead and change it a little bit. All right, it's not bad. All right, now we want to go ahead and group those brushes. So let's go ahead and do View, Outline, and we want to go ahead and select those paths. So I'm going to grab my Selection Tool, grab that top one, and I want to, I you need to have to grab the top one. There's a faster way to do this. We want to go Select, we want to go Object, we want to grab all the bristle brush strokes. So it's going to grab everything that's got a bristle brush. That sounds funny. And tell it to group. And now let's do a view. Change that back to GPU preview. And deselect and save. And we'll finish this up in the last one.